BJA Orange Belt 4th Q Syllabus. Everything you need to know. In this, there are eight throws, a few different combinations, a couple of counters, and a few different things you need to know on the ground. Ogoshi. Core principles of Ogoshi is that it's like Ukigoshi in that my arm is going under his arm onto his back, but instead of being perpendicular to him, my hips come all the way across, I lower my hips, pull him onto my back, he should be able to bounce there, finish just by looking over my shoulder and rotating. Suikomigoshi. Surakomagoshi is a lot like Ogoshi, but instead of coming around the back, I'm going to keep hold of his lapel, put my forearm against the chest, lower my hips, extend my legs and rotate to finish the throw. Morote Sienagi. Morate Sienagi is a like Ippon Sienagi, but instead of having one arm come under the armpit, I'm going to keep hold of his lapel, bring my elbow across as I lift his elbow up to create the space, bend my knees and enter, and then finish. Same as all my other throws by extending my legs and rotating my shoulders. Sio Toshi. Siyotoshi, also a lot like Ippon Sionagi. I enter, bringing my arm under his armpit, bring my hips in, but I'm not able to finish the throw from here, so I'm going to drop my knee that is on the same side as the arm under the arm, and I'm just going to drop that knee and rotate him over. Oso Tagaru. Oso Tagari, very similar to Oso Totoshi, in that I'm stepping out, pulling him with me about 45 degrees, but instead of stepping behind him, I'm just going to sweep his leg. Keep my toes nice and pointed. Koso Tagari. With Koso Tagari, I'm bringing one foot, cupping the back of his leg. Turning him so that there's no weight on that foot. I'm going to turn him like a boss wheel. So that as he puts the weight back onto his foot, I sweep it out from under him. Koso to Gake. With Koso to Gake, similar to Koso to Gari, I'm attacking his sleeve side, but I'm going to hook with my leg around his leg, keeping my hips nice and low. To finish it, I just drive through whilst hooking his leg so that he lands on his back. Kochigari. With Kochigari. I'm going to be doing this stepping motion, pulling on his sleeve. I want to feel the timing's right. I'm going to give a little bit of an extra pull, bring my lapel side foot behind his leg, and extend his base so that he falls over. Ochigari to Kochigari. When we're doing all of these combinations, I want you to think, I know how to do Ochigari. I know how to do Kochigari. So I come in from my Ochi, he stepped off it, and then I'm just gonna do my Kochigari. Kochigari to Marata Sienagi. The importance of this, I'm using the Kochi to move his front leg out of the way, creating space for me to step in, or my Marata Sienagi. Kochigari to Osotagari. 
once again, I'm using the coach Igari to cause me to step back. I'm stepping into the space and doing my Oso Igari. If one Sinagi to coach Igari. So this is, I go for my Epon Sinagi, but he sat his hips back, so I turn back into him, hooking his leg, so I can use his reaction against him. There's also a little bit of personal choice with this grade. So you need to be able to do combinations with Siyatoshi and with Coach Igari. These don't have to be the ones that I'm about to show, you can do whatever you want. Make sure to have fun with it, have a bit of an explore, play around, what do you think works? One that we're going to look at for Siyatoshi will be Oso Tagari into Siyatoshi. So with this technique, we're going for Oso Tagari, but he knows that, he steps away. We've now created the space where I can step through, bring, bend my knees, put my foot out for the Siyatoshi, and just drop onto one knee. You also need to do a combination with Koichigari. We've already done quite a few of them, but let's have a look at another one. So we're gonna do Kochi into Taitoshi. So like all of our other Koichigari combinations, we're using the Kochi to make him step, creating this space where I can step my back foot in, rotate some over for the Taitoshi. So like I say, you don't have to use the combinations that I've just demonstrated, you can use whatever you want, have a play around with it, make it your own. Your coach might even ask for a couple extras just to make you think. Now for the counters. Ochigari counter by Tsurikomigoshi. Now the principle of this is I've anticipated his Ochigari, so I've stepped off of it, I'm halfway through my turn already, I just pivot and do my Tsurikomigoshi. Taiyatoshi counter by Koso Tagari. Once again, I'm going to anticipate his Taitoshi. I've stepped around it, allowing me to just sweep the leg and he can place across. You need to know another escape from Kezagatami. This is bridge and roll. I'm going to first turn into him, grab his belt, and I'm going to push. Once he's here, his reaction is to sit back up, and I can just roll him over. Next, escape from between Uki's legs. I'm gonna put my hands on his belt, put one knee behind his butt, step back to stop his feet being connected, grab the pant leg, push it down to the floor. I'm gonna put one of my legs onto his thigh to keep it trapped there. I'm then gonna back step so that he still can't trap my leg. And move around into whichever hold down I want. Next, we have a turnover with Uki between our legs. I'm gonna open my legs up, shrimp my hips out, bring one leg across his waist, and then I'm gonna scissor my legs and come through into Tatishi Ogatami. Next, arm roll from behind. Uki is gonna bring their arm through. Tori's going to grab it and roll over into whichever hold down they want. Arm roll from in front. If Uki is at the head of Tori, if I try to grab his arms, he's going to pin my arms and just roll me over. You also need to know a few things about the rules of judo. So two illegal grips. For example, you are not allowed to grab Inside the gi, inside the gi is not allowed. You are also not allowed to grab anywhere below the belt. These are all illegal grips and will have you receiving a penalty. You also need to know two things that are against the rules in judo that are not grips. These include things like passivity. So if we're fighting, we both just stand here and do nothing. When the ref's going to give us a penalty. The rule infringement is leaving the area, so if we're fighting and I've been pushed out of the area, I would, uh, receive, I would receive a Shido for a penalty. The terminology that you need, we need to know that Shido is a penalty. If you get three Shidos, that's Hansakamaki. Wazari is a half score. 
If on is a full score. Wazari Awaseti if on means two Wazaris make an if on. Hikiwaki is a draw. Uki is the receiver of the technique. And Tori is the person demonstrating the technique. That's everything you need to know to pass your orange belt grading in Britain. You may not be asked about everything that's in this video, but if you do know everything in this video, you will definitely be able to pass your grading. Sorry,